I'm Angel. And I'm Todd. And welcome to our channel, Listen and Obey. This is part of a series that is um, breaking down some of the teachings that are uh, done by uh, Steve Bergson from NTOI. Um, and this one is going to be where it's going to be called Call Me Rabbi. Um, and it, it's very telling. Rabbi is a title um, that is uh, something he take. really likes. Oh, well, yeah, we'll see that or we'll hear that rather. Um, there will be a link below in the description to the actual sermon that we are uh, addressing here. Um, and it would be properly referenced. So in time there's stamps, no, so you can go right to it. So there's no plagiarism and no um, violation of copyright. So, um, and because, we're doing audio to protect the innocent that are in the church crowd because they do pan the church a lot during the service. And uh, no one's above criticism or mm -hmm. um, reproof. Um, as a matter of fact, we're told to reproof, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering. Amen. Okay, if you catch that, that's a psychological thing. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. You'll, you'll you agree see with that. me, right? Right. <laughs> you'll see that here. Uh, if you watch the video, if you watch any of his videos, you'll see mm -hmm. that is um, a psychological thing. You'll see it a lot in politics. You see it. Um, and by the way, my background is psychology and counseling. Um, and uh, a lot of um, Steve's um, mm -hmm. sermons are circled around... Um, feel good emotions and um, trying to build a community um, based off of teachings such as Tony Robbins. Um, uh, Tony. And, and other self-help gurus. So this starts at uh, time marker, four hours, 18 minutes and 30 seconds. Yes, four hours, 18 minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah. Okay, let's listen to what Steve has to say. There are people, for example, that I've had to say that'll come up to me, they're brand new, they're visiting here, and right away they're off calling me Steve instead of Rabbi. It doesn't upset me. It upset somebody else in the room, but it doesn't upset me. Right. But I know it's not the way I would prefer because I know that from that familiarity, level of conversation i'm not being held in the right level of Steam. the vertical alignment to be able to be helpful and effective in their life how dare you you understand what i'm saying and so i have had to say to a few people i don't know you well enough to call me steve all right and actually the people that know me the absolute best the only ones who call me just steve is my wife my children don't even call me, they call me dad. So there's almost really nobody sad. really close to me that calls me. Even my best friend calls me rabbi. That's really sad. So even his best friends have to call him rabbi. Only his wife gets to call him Steve. You can call me anything you want, just don't call me late for dinner. Um, I don't care. I mean, at, at, at work, I'm known by my last name because there used to be two Todd's that worked there a long, long time ago, and it just kind of stuck with me throughout all these years. They just call him by my last name. I'm good with that. I don't care. Sometimes I call him by his last name, especially when he's in trouble. <laughs> he's being called Gooberhead. Um, oh. But somebody who um, who insists on everyone calling them a doctor or um, preacher or pastor or teacher or Reverend. shepherd or bishop or Reverend. rabbi, it is a, a it's a title. It's a way to elevate yourself above those around you. I mean, that's just what it is. And, you know, you can look that up for yourself if you want. You don't have to trust me. Um, by, by all means, don't listen to me. Look it up for yourself. Uh, but it is a, a title that is used to identify who you are. And apparently his identity is really, I'm putting his screen, he's not even on there. Um, apparently his identity is really wrapped up in being a rabbi who's elevated above everyone else. Okay. And keep in mind too, if you see somebody who calls himself bishop, that's a self-given title. So is rabbi. So run. So is
doctor, so is teacher. Well, no, Bishop, there is, you don't go to a, you don't go to a college get a doctorate for a bishop. Well, it doesn't matter. That's a man. You go to Kmart. For even that. if you did, if that is a man saying, "Oh, well, now you can call yeah. yourself preacher." Yeah. Well, it's nonsense to be honest, because what did Yeshua? Okay, this is our guidepost, right? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily the stuff or any Bible. Open up yours to Matthew chapter twenty-three. And uh, we'll see what Yeshua had to say about the subject. Now, Steve actually does a study on <laughs> uh, a study on being called a rabbi, master, teacher, whatnot, um, and he like circles it around, just like I mentioned in the um, the intro to this series. He will he will run laps around it to where you are completely lost on what that word actually says. So. It doesn't matter what his take is on this. What matters is what did Yeshua say? And in chapter 23, we look at Yeshua is there with the multitude and his Talmudim, his the taught ones or his disciples, whatever word you want to call them. And he's talking about the scribes and Pharisees being in Moshe's seat, uh, seat of power. They're the ones who are supposed to be instructing the people on how to obey the commandments, right? Uh, which is what Steve desires to be. Um... And so he tells them in verse 3, whatsoever they bid you to guard, whatsoever he bids you guard, and who is the he there? He's not talking about the scribes and the Pharisees. He's talking about Moshe. Whatsoever he bids you to guard, that diligently guard and do, but do not seek ye after their reforms and traditions, for they say and do not. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move with move them with one of their fingers. Is that not what Steve's doing? We'll see that later on in this series mm -hmm. where he talks about uh, the hierarchy um, too, and the vertical alignment. Um, you're too dumb to learn on your own. Yeah. You're not qualified to learn from Yahuwah on your own. And there are verses that... Um, show that he is that. absolutely wrong on that. Um, but he goes on in verse 5. But all their works they do, who's they, the scribes and the Pharisees, to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries and enlarge their zizilt of their garments. And they love the uppermost rooms of feasts. Elevation, elevating themselves higher than um, what they ought to be, right? And the chief seats in the synagogues, again, elevation. And the greetings in the marketplace. Hey, Rabbi, how are you? And to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi, is that not what we just heard from Steve? Mm -hmm. Now, if it didn't bother him, he would not have brought it out. Psychology 101. Yep. Um, but Yeshua said in verse 8, But be not ye called rabbi, for one is your rabbi, even Mashiach. Who's the rabbi? Who is the rabbi? Messiah, Yeshua, mm -hmm. is the rabbi. Not Steve. Messiah is the rabbi. And all of ye are brethren. And call no man your father on the earth. For one is your father in heaven. This goes to the Catholic Church. Sorry, Catholics. Um, call no one father on earth because there's one father. He's in heaven. Yahuwah. Say nope to the poop. <laughs> then verse 10. Neither be ye called what? Master or teacher. Depends on what version you have. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I had to read because I, I had the uh, other translation there. For one is your... And there he goes back to rabbi, even Messiah. So Messiah is our master. He's our teacher. He is our rabbi. And there is no other. If you have another, it is anti-Messiah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just lines up with the Bible. What Steve says does not line up with the Bible. Still in verse 10. For one is your rabbi, even Mashiach. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. So um, I think it's really easy to see, and you'll see it throughout his um, the um, the environment of that community, which mm -hmm. um, some say really isn't a community at all. 
but um, just um, is sold to be a community that is very desirous for a lot of people. And that's very dangerous territory, especially when you are not allowed to question the leader who calls himself or exalts himself to be a rabbi. That's kind of creepy. Oh, I forgot, I forgot to put it on my head. You agree, right? It's creepy. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, amen. I mean. <laughs> Amen, amen. So there's a few things that have been brought back to my remembrance um, while I've been waiting to get these videos edited and uploaded. And one of those is um, from my days of studying in psychology. Now, I no longer have my psychology books. However, we do have the World Wide Web. So I'm going to be pulling this from Wikipedia, and it's in agreement with what I remember learning in class. Um, and it's about grandiosity. And basically, it's it's um, part of a personality disorder. Um, in the field of psychology, it refers to um, someone, and let's just say it's myself, who um, if I were to have an unrealistic sense of my superiority to other people, it would be characterized as um, thinking that I'm better than other people, viewing myself as um, better, more educated, more knowledgeable, having a direct line in um, to which um, other people are not able to do. Um, you see this a lot in cults, um, and I, I hate to keep bringing that up, but it's true. Um, you have like, uh, people who say that they get a direct um, connection with God and they hear his voice and et cetera. Now, that's not to say that we don't hear Yahuwah's voice, but when we hear Yahuwah's voice, it's through him bringing, uh, using the Ruach HaKodesh to bring uh, things back to our remembrance, the verses that, you know, the Torah that's already been spoken, bring, bringing it back to remembrance. Um and through the prompting of the Ruach Kakudesh to, um, to do this or don't do that. Um, so that's not to say that you don't hear Yah's voice, but it's to say that, you know, this is traditionally one of the, uh, the, the signs <laughs> um, and that it's usually seen in cults. Um, but back to what this is, <clears throat> it would be me saying that or thinking that I'm better than others, um, criticizing them, um, you know, pushing them down to, you know, hey, you're not qualified. And we see this. Um, we actually do see Steve do this, um, saying that people are not qualified to get a quote unquote direct download from Yahoo. And I really hate that phrase, direct download from Yahweh. I hate that. But nevertheless, he used that, so I'm going to use it. <clears throat> um, it's uh, It would be me inflating or over-inflating what I'm actually capable of doing and thinking and saying and um, whatnot. Um, it would be putting other people down, um, saying that they're inferior to me. Um it refers to a personal sense of being unique. Now, we are all unique and wonderfully made, right? But this is actually elevated above what you would typically typically see. So it's, it's also, I would be um, saying and acting like th there are there's no one who has anything in common with me. There's no one who is my equal. There's, um, you know, there's no one who can teach me anything. And you will see Steve say that. And that, you know, I can only be understood or comprehended by, by people who are on my level. But, you know, there's nobody on my level, right? Um, <laughs> and I'm being facetious right there. <laughs> Um, the personality trait, it, it basically it's a personality trait disorder, a personality disorder. And it's usually associated with um, bipolar disorder. I've seen it a lot with bipolar disorder, um, either with manic or hypomanic. Um, it, it's, it doesn't discriminate. Um, I've actually seen it with people who actually are rapid cycling bipolar, who are um, rapid cycle between mania and depression. Um, 
there's a, you, often a, a sense of an expression of antisocial um, behavior. Um, there's also an antisocial personality disorder that it can be associated with. Uh, there, there's actually a, a narcissism. I'm not going to go into narcissism. That would be a whole book in itself. But it, it really does. Um, it really does feature heavily in personality disorders. I guess that's what I want to say. Now, I'm not saying that Steve suffers from grandiosity um, or from a personality disorder. I'm just pointing out that he does display some of the symptoms. And, you know, you can you can look up your psychology books. You can, um, and I will have a link to the Wikipedia article below. Um, but Wikipedia actually is right in this. Um, I, I don't usually turn to it as a reference, but sans not having my, my psychology books anymore. Um, that's as good a place as any to turn. And the information is accurate. Now, um, then we have some verses that Yahuwah has brought back to my, my remembrance today um, as I was editing this, no less. Um, so I'm going to save the best for last, but I'm going to start out with um, revering someone above other people. Now, we've already covered in Matthew where Yeshua says to not call anyone rabbi or master or teacher um, or father. But um, are there any other witnesses? Because the Bible says in the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established, does it not? So we have in, um, let's go with Psalms 111, verse 9, where uh, David said, He sent redemption unto his people. He hath commanded his covenant forever. Now, who is the redemption? The redemption comes through Yeshua. So he's talking about Yeshua here. He sent redemption unto his people. He hath commanded his covenant forever. Holy and reverend is his name. Holy and reverend is the name of Yahuwah and Yahshua. And we should not be revering other people. Because that is putting them as an idol above or equal to Yahuwah. Well, let's turn to New Testament because a lot of people don't like to have Old Testament references. That's fine. Let's turn to the New Testament. Acts 10 verse 34. And then Peter, or Kepha, opened his mouth and said, Of a truth, I perceive that Yahuwah is no respecter of persons. Well, let's go to James chapter 2, verse 9. But if ye have respect of persons, ye commit sin and are convicted by the law or the Torah as transgressors. Well, that's not the only thing. So I said I was going to save the best for last. The best one is in Job. Chapter 32, verses 21 and 22. So this is the young man who's talking to Yo, and he's telling him, you know, look, you're not perfect. And um, so you could go back and read all that. But he says here, let me not, I pray you, accept any man's person. He's saying, I'm not going to revere anyone. I don't care who you are. I'm not going to lift you up. So let me not accept any man's person, neither let me give flattering titles unto man, for I know not to give flattering titles. And in so doing, my maker would soon take me away. Now, that is very self-explanatory. Anyway, That's all we got. That's all for this one. So I hope you stay tuned for the next one uh, in the series. So... Yahweh bless you and keep you and give you shalom. Until next time, y'all bless.